the Greeks learned many wonderful things from India. Voltaire, the famous French writer and philosopher, stated, Pythagoras went to the Ganges to learn geometry. Abraham Seidenberg, author of the authoritative History of Mathematics, credits the Silva Sutras as inspiring all mathematics of the ancient world, from Babylonia to Egypt to Greece. As Voltaire and Seidenberg have stated, many highly significant mathematical concepts have come from the Vedic culture, such as the theorem bearing the name of the Greek mathematician Pythagoras is found in the Shatapata Brahmana as well as the Soba Sutra, the Indian mathematical treatise written centuries before Pythagoras was born. The decimal system, based on powers of 10, where the remainder is carried over to the next column, first mentioned in the Taittiriya Samhita of the Black Yajurveda. The introduction of zero as both a numerical value and a place marker. The concept of infinity. The binary number system, essential for computers, was used in Vedic verse meters. A hashing technique similar to that used by modern search algorithms such as Google's was used in South Indian musicology. From the name of a raga, one can determine the notes of the raga from this Kattapayadi system. The Vedas, however, are not as well known for presenting historical and scientific knowledge as they are for expounding subtle sciences such as the power of mantras. We all recognize the power of sound itself by its effects, which can be quite dramatic. Here, a high-pitched frequency shatters a drinking glass. So, we can easily understand that loud sounds can produce substantial reactions. It is commonly believed that mantras can carry hidden power, which can in turn produce profound effects. The ancient Vedic literatures are full of descriptions of weapons being called by mantra. For example, many weapons were invoked by mantra during the epic Kurukshetra war, wherein the Bhagavad Gita itself was spoken. The ancient deployment of Brahmastra weapons, equivalent to modern-day nuclear weapons, are described throughout the Vedic literatures. Additionally, mantras carry hidden spiritual power which can produce significant benefits when chanted properly. Indeed, the Vedas themselves are sound vibrations in literary form and carry a profound message. Spiritual disciplines recommend meditational practices such as silent meditation, silent recitation of mantras, and also the verbal repetition of specific mantras out loud. A clinical test of the benefits of mantra chanting was performed on three groups of 62 subjects, males and females of average age 25. They chanted the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra 25 minutes each day under strict clinical supervision. Results showed that regular chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra reduces stress and depression and helps reduce bad habits and addictions. These results formed a PhD thesis at Florida State University. Spirit